kicked. They certainly did. What was the most concerning part of this loss in Denver? I think it was one of those moments when he said they played hard and physical. Yeah. That's one of those subliminal messages he telling his team, like, we got out physical. They played harder than us. As a team, I'm taking that personally. I'm looking like, what the? My coaches just called us out without yeah. calling us out. Yeah. So I think that's one of the biggest things they got to do on this bye week. Like, all this other stuff is going on in your life. And, you know, you get a schedule kind of early. You think, oh, I'm going to have these many days off. Them days got to be gone now. Yeah, especially now that you look at the back half of this bye week. When you're coming out of it, you've got the Chargers right out of the break who look like a really good football team. And then you go on the road to Minnesota. So no rest for the weary. The Falcons got to clean things up quick. One thing that you've mentioned to me in the past is the defense looks a little unprepared at times. They certainly did in Denver. You've been uninspired by the linebacker play. How much did you notice those two things at Mile High Stadium? Very quickly because how easy it was for them to get the short passes. The short passes killed his game. Like yeah. Bo Nix looked like Tom Brady out there. Just <laughs> he, he, he was picking and choosing. And think about it, you being a coordinator and seeing that they linebackers can't get there quick enough. Mm -hmm. Let's just throw it over the top and let them run. And I'm and when you're watching it, you can see it. And like I said, you can see in the stats they have 13, 14 tackles, but they're 10, 11 yards down the field. You got to put that in the concept of you know, are we playing well, or are we not? And also back to hard and physical. Yeah. Like this is what linebackers will be hard and physical. You're not seeing it. Yeah, you haven't seen it a lot this year. I know that you've mentioned that several times, especially to me. Let's talk about the play calling for a second. Jimmy Lake, a first time play caller. You have a first time play caller on both sides of the ball for the Falcons. But for Jimmy specifically, at what point does Raheem Morris look himself and look Jimmy Lake in the mirror and say, maybe it's best we make a change or do you just leave it alone? Well, how we said after week one, we said Zach Robinson, you got to decide what you want your players to be. Yeah. So if I'm Jimmy Lake, I'm going into it, I'm looking like, look, Judon, what are you comfortable doing? Caden, Ellis, what are you comfortable doing? Veterans on the defense, what, what are you comfortable, are comfortable doing? What are y'all comfortable doing? I yeah. know that you, you have, you have rushed the passer, Caden. You've done different things. What are you comfortable doing? I need more from you. I need to see more of this. So secondary is cool. I ain't got no issues with them at all. Jesse Bates is a guy see. <laughs> so I'm not worried about Jess. I'm not worried about the secondary, but I am worried about that front set. Yeah, and you've mentioned that a couple times. So I think that's a really good, important point to make. And especially as they look in the mirror heading into the bye week, this one's going to feel long, John. I'm sure that flight home is going to feel pretty long for them as well. If you're a player on this team, what do you do in the bye week? What are you saying to yourself and the other guys? Uh, honestly, my schedule changed. Whatever I had vacation, whatever time I had off, it's, it's going to be it's going to be in there watching film. It's going to be in there trying to connect with my teammates because right now they don't have a connection. If you watch how they play, like I said, in order to play fast, physical, hard football, you got to know the person beside you. You got to know what, what's going on. You got to know the teams you're playing. When I saw this team today, and like I'm a fan, so I got my fan gear on. I came straight from watching the game, but watching the game and listening to the fans, even they can see it. Like, what are they doing? If, if we got to ask, what are they doing? They got to ask themselves the same thing. Because when you see Grady, when I see Grady Jarrett running 10 yards down the field trying to make a tackle, that's bad. That's bad. That's that's linebackers, that's safeties, that's, and I'm not knocking Jason. Like I said, I ain't knocking Jason. <laughs> but I'm saying, but that's definitely a team thing. But I, but I seen Grady out there running his butt off trying to make tackles down the field, and it's kind of embarrassing. There's going to have to be a lot of inspiring conversations happening in the bye week, especially for a team leading the division. John, thank you. Hang with us. Video of the week is next.